What's going on everybody, this is Afro Think Tank. Today's video is gonna be about do high earning women who make more money than their boyfriends or husbands, do they truly respect their boyfriends or their husbands, right? As a, as a woman, do they respect them as a man? And the reason why I bring this up, because I was listening to old Shay Duke Jackson. All right, back at it again. <laughs> I love that dude's channel, man. Uh, he was he just made a video today about it, and he's bringing up a lot of good points, man. And it's like, if you are a woman, right, and you know you you bust your ass throughout your twenties uh, to to create a high earning um, situation for yourself, you know you you make a lot of money, and if you can't find a, a man that makes more money than you, that can perceivably take care of you, and you are you have to settle for a man that doesn't make more money than you, you know, maybe make less. And usually to make up for that, these older, you know, older black women, they'll get, you know, if they gotta go younger, if they gotta go, they'll go look younger, they'll go some, get, maybe they can get somebody that's in shape, that's in real good shape or something like that, you know, to make up for the fact that they don't make no money. You know, they may look good and have all this, but do they really respect them? And that's kind of a question for women. I know if there's any women out here who is watching this and if y'all make a significant amount of money and if you are with somebody, who makes less than you, do you respect them? Do you have the same respect for them as you would somebody who had the financial capability of taking care of you completely? You know what I'm saying? Because the, the role of a man is to take care of the woman, right? So we have to project the ability to take care of the woman and protect the woman, right? So if the man doesn't make enough money to take care of the woman, where does that leave him? You know, like what kind of authority does he have in the house? And he's not paying all the bills or he's not paying the major bills. What what can he say? Does the woman is the who's the, who's the lead? Who's the head of home? Who's the head of the house? You know, how does the man go about his manly duties knowing that he's not the breadwinner? And you know what? That is a that is a reason why a lot of successful women are single, because it's too intimidating for a man. He looks at a woman. He says, oh, shit, I can't do nothing with that. I can't do nothing for her. So he won't even try. He won't even try. Because he's intimidated, scared. You know? But but ladies, can you respect a man that makes less than you? Can you? you no, know, can you have a a equality relationship with that person? Do you look at them like a real man? Like when you get in an argument, are you gonna throw that back in his face? You know, because that's what men are worried about. They're worried that. If they get with a woman that makes more money than them, that if they get in an argument about something, whether it be about the house or whatnot, that they're gonna pull rank, they're gonna pull that card. And there's nothing more belittling to a man than when that woman pulls that card and basically tell them they ain't shit. <laughs> you know, that's, that'll crush a man's ego, you know? And a man doesn't want his ego to be crushed. So, Usually a man will keep himself out of a situation where that was, that's likely to happen. You know, so, I mean, you know, cause a man really doesn't care how much a woman makes if he makes more than her. He doesn't care, cause that's her money, right? She's gonna spend it the way she wanna spend it. It doesn't, it's, it's not supposed to, it's not supposed to be included in a man's valuation of a woman, we don't care. You know, the only time we care about how much a woman make is if we know she making more than us. And it's like, what do I offer? What am I bringing to the table? What does a man, who makes less than you, especially if he's significantly less than you, what does he bring to the table other than his, maybe his chiseled body if he has one of those, or maybe he's really good in bed, maybe he's good good at that, but even if he's good in bed, that doesn't mean he's gonna get respect from a woman, I mean, uh, cause you know, that doesn't mean anything. That just means for that moment, you know, he, he he's, he's, he's good at that, you know, so, that has nothing to do with his manliness, really. That's just for the woman to enjoy. Like, oh, I, can find, I got a guy that, that know what he's doing in the sack. You know, that's a bonus, right? But other than that, like, I just can't imagine being in a relationship like that. Like, even me, myself. I can't imagine being in a relationship with a woman that makes too much more than money. Like, I can see if, I can see if we were together before and everything was established and then she all of a sudden ascends to a high level, you know, then, I can see that working out, you know, I can see that because at that point, a relationship's already been established, uh, you know, things, you know, things are settled in, but like on a dating scene, 
if things get, get started out, let's say you're you're a dude, you know, you make about forty five, fifty five thousand dollars a year, you run across a woman, she make a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand. What can you as a man do for that woman? And are are there any men that are willing to date women that make more money than them? Significantly more money than them. Like how would you feel as a man knowing that you can't you're with a woman that you can't provide for because she provides for herself and you you can't do anything but sling wood. That's 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 it. <laughs> uh, look good on her arm, you know. You have no authority. What you going? What you going? You can't tell her to do nothing. She'll be like, well, I'm, I'm gonna leave, or she'll kick you out of her her mini mansion. Then what? I don't know. Her car is better than yours. Like just everything. I just the psychological uh, the psychological effect it would have on a man is just major, and I just don't see myself being able to do it. To be honest. I got, I got look. If I can't take care of a woman, I can't. I, it's no point in me being with. That's that's my job. If I can't do my job, I'm not gonna. I'm not even applying. All right for the position, straight up. So, any women watching this, let me know. Could you date somebody that makes less than you? And why? Why not? Why could you do it? Why couldn't you do it? And why? You know what, what is the reasons for that? You know because that's that's something we don't talk about. You know because right now, African American women, you know black women, you know they're on the rise, man. They're on the rise as far as income is concerned. And it's making it really difficult for them to find people, you know, to be with, find mates. Because, of course, if you if you make a certain amount as a woman, you still, by nature, you're looking for somebody who's going to be able to take care of you, who's going to be the, the protector and provider. So if the woman keeps elevating, the only choices they seem to have, for, as far as they're concerned, are other men, uh, men that's higher than them. But that pool of men that's higher than them gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And remember... There's more females than, than men, so women don't have that many choices already. And then the choices get, as they succeed professionally, personally, their options become less and less and less. And as they get older, their viability becomes less and less. So it's like a double-edged sword. It's like, it's like you got to give up your personal, you got to give up your, almost for women, you have to give up your personal progression if you want business progression or professional progression. Versus men who we can, you know, it's okay for us because we can invest 10 15 years we can we can spend our 20s and 30s struggling to get to where we want to like 35 and 45 you know years old and then at that point our value is still high because we can still have babies right so then we go looking for a woman that we can protect now that we making money we go look for a woman that we can provide for you know that also makes us feel good like a man that we're providing for a woman somebody who we can teach you know and as husbands we're supposed to be teachers as well you know, someone we can guide and mold, you know, so you start looking for a younger woman that's moldable, not an already established woman in her 30s or 30s or 40s that won't be pliable to that man who's worked so hard to get to where he at. So he wants somebody he can mold, who be easily, who easily fits into his atmosphere, right? So, you know, so a man could be older and he still got his vibe. Matter of fact, a man gets better with age if he's progressing, right? If he's progressing constantly, he gets better with age, like a fine wine. For women, it's like, it's not like that. It's the other way around. Is you know, is the early bird gets the worm on that side. You know, the younger, the fresher it is. Like you know, like a like a fresh, a fresh piece of fruit. You know, just plucked off. The better as soon as it's plucked off, that's the best time. You know, after a while, it start to, you know, lose flavor, start to lose nutrients. Then it start, then it gets rotten, and it changes color, and then all of a sudden, you don't want it. You're right. You know, so age doesn't go with you know with women it's the, it's, the, it's the other way around but while while women are 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 succeeding in a business world they're ending up in the same positions as the men who are ending up in their 30s and 40s and reaching their goal women are are holding off on family life to get to that same goal as men right but by the time they get there their the fruit is no longer you know fresh you know and they feel like their fruit should be golden because you know they really put a lot of work in it but as far as a man is concerned all they see is a really expensive piece of rotten fruit instead of a, a less expensive fresh fruit off the tree. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. But y'all let me know what y'all think. You know, I was listening to O'Shea Duke Jackson's video and he makes a lot of good points, y'all. And that's definitely something we need to talk about, you know, so that women can, women and men can figure out what it is, where they fit in this whole thing. You know, if we gonna have a new modern woman, is are we gonna have? Do we have to change how we how we do things? Or are we gonna have to change uh, 
change the uh, the, the way we operate uh, as family? Like, is there a way that a woman could make a lot more money than a man, but the man still hold that man king authority in the household? Is that possible? I don't know if it's possible. Somebody let me know if it's possible. I, I don't know. I don't know anywhere it has worked anywhere in the world or history. I'm not sure if it works, if it does, if there's a way, if there is a formula for it, maybe that formula needs to be uh, shared with everybody so that some people who want to be in relationships, but because of their personal professional situation can't, maybe there's somebody out there for them. You know what I'm saying? Maybe there's a puzzle piece that fits them perfectly and we just need to open up a new avenue for that. You know, I don't know. You know, I'm just, I'm just thinking here. All right. But that's all I got to say for, for now, guys. Um, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. This is Afro Think Tank. Learn something, teach something. I'm out. Okay, thinkers. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon for the latest notifications.